Jeanette, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I know this is not your first mission trip. No. <laughs> I mean, listen, I mean, you've been a number of different places. Yes, I have. Mainly African yeah. terrain, mm -hmm. yeah. some Mexico terrain. But you've never been in Eastern Europe before. Uh, no, I have not. Only in airports yeah. passing through. Yeah. Well, we deeply have deeply appreciated your ministry, not only to the kids and staff at the orphanage, but also to our team. Oh, well, thank you. There are a lot of younger people on our team, and you were kind of a team mother at times. I had to be, especially <laughs> when they were dropping off like flies with illness, yeah, yeah. a little stomach thing, that's yeah. all. Kind of was yeah. going around with the kids, too. Yeah. 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 What was a high point for you in being here? I think the high point was that um, the, um, the, um, lost my word here, the fam familiarity of these children because I grew up in some harsh conditions. Yeah. So I could um, share that with these children and, and feed into them because I've been where yeah. you've been. Yeah. And, and I did share my testimony with them. Um, Jamie and Andy had me do that. And, and I, I know that was a breaking point for them. Wow. Because, you know, we come in as you know, clean, nice looking, you know, they, they assume that we're, oh, these people have everything, they must have had wonderful lives, and they're Christians, so they must have known God their whole life, and with me, that's not the case. Yeah. So, I was able to, to draw them in, and, and just, you know, fill them up with God's light, so that they can know that there's hope. You know, you don't have to grow up in, the, uh -huh. in it to not be able to still accept Him in your life and move forward with Him in your life. A lot of people, when they think about coming on a trip like this, wonder about the language barrier. Right. Was it difficult? Well, you have those amazing interpreters. <laughs> and honestly, that was my first time working where you, you, know, you almost have a personal interpreter mm -hmm. with you, for you. Um, and I've gone out into the Maasai land and, and not had that. You know, maybe mm -hmm. somebody's there, but not side by side. And, you know, I can mm -hmm. sit on a wooden stool and and yeah. seem to communicate one way or another yeah. with, without the same language. You know, yeah. God will do that. God will Absolutely. break that down and allow yeah. that, yeah, definitely. Is, uh, do you feel like, are you confident that kids' lives are impacted and these camps are worthwhile? Absolutely, or I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, I have to do, you know, I mean, I'm obedient to God's calling but you also have to believe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in it as well to really fully you know, immerse yourself and, and make it what it's meant to be. Your 15-year-old son, Dalton, was mm -hmm. also on this trip. Yes. Um, it's a great experience to do the parent-child thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, and this was um, first for um, you know my whole family, my daughter and my husband, we've all been to Africa, but this was our first alone trip, he and I. Mm -hmm. You all seem to have ball. Yeah, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. That's our regular life at home, though. Yeah. There's a lot of laughing and joking and, yeah, having fun. Yeah, good times. Do you feel like this trip has impacted you personally, spiritually? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Seeing God in a different culture. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And and, and I always grow. Yeah. Yeah, I'll always grow. Every after every mission trip and, and that's what keeps me going. Yeah. Is that he promises to grow me. I am so grateful for you being here with us. Oh, and thank you so much. Just oh, absolutely. Please accept our profound appreciation. Absolutely, yeah. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.